Right. One, two, three, go. I'll start when I fucking want to start. (laughs) (laughs) You can edit that out, surely. Yeah, I can edit all of this out. (laughs) Just just hit the hot delete on the whole thing. (laughs) I mean, are we recording? Yeah, we're recording, yes. but right, editing okay. in the front end out's easy. All right. I just don't like I just don't like being dictated to, James. So three, two, one. <laughs> Hello everybody. Welcome to the June roundup for Patchwork Challenge. It's July. The autumn is well, I was gonna say it's coming, but as far as I'm concerned, it's here. I'm thinking about seabirds. I'm thinking about a bit of wader passage in the next month or so. But we're joined today by a couple of inland birders. And I'm really interested in getting their take on what's uh, what sort of things they're going to be looking for over the next few months or so. So, as you can probably tell just by looking, we're joined by the two Johnnies and a red flank blue tail, better known as Johnny Rankin and Johnny Holiday from Birders Twitter. Say hello, guys. Well, up, how are we doing? We're doing very, very well. And we were supposed to be joined by someone else, but uh, I believe that I believe that you've got a message for us, Johnny. Yeah, I do. Um, DDL told me to tell you that he's um, spiritually and emotionally completely opposed to Patchwork Challenge and he won't speak to anybody north of Watford. And the further north from Watford you are, the less he'll speak to you. Not my words. Not my words. Well, I think that's an arrangement that we can all get on board with. They're not speaking to people from north of Watford. So that's fine. Um Spiritually opposed to Patriot Challenge? He's quite a spiritual guy, man. I've noticed that. I've, he's A lot of uh, pictures of him on Twitter sort of sitting around in the desert with his shirt off and stuff. That's a spiritual do you thing to do. Worst, since, how many nude pictures are there on your Patchwork Challenge WhatsApp group? How many nude pictures? I think I think yeah. there were just the two that you sent us earlier, Johnny. <laughs> well, on the, on the Birders Twitter WhatsApp... There's a lot of nudes. None of them begin with Johnny and they all end with L. And we didn't <laughs> ask for any of them. I, I, I have only seen, I've only seen maybe three or four photos or videos. And there are a copious amount where DDL's got a shirt on. And I've seen a lot where he's got a lot less than that on. So... Are we... Are we using this as therapy? <laughs> we doing sure, therapy? yeah, this you might, this well might be our therapy. It could be, it could be. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a, it, uh, you know, it's a very inclusive. Birders Twitter is a very inclusive site, so um, yeah. DDL's decided to take that to the max. Yeah, so, yeah. Nudist, Nudist anyway. Bird Club. How long's that been going? <laughs> Oh, a um, long time. Then, that, there, must yeah, be a long time. Time. there was a gay bird club. Do you remember that? Yeah, still yeah, going. Yeah, it was good. It, it's yeah, and, it, and it's related to a very, very rare bird that's not actually on the British list yet, but it's related to a very rare bird. Does anybody know what it is? Tell me, tell me. Does anybody know what it is now? No. no Red, red-headed bunting at Cly. Uh, it was in the, the garden. Is that the gayest of, bird out there or something? Is what, Are sorry? you making this up, dude? No, 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 no. This is a, yeah, oh, this is a pretty well-known story. To be fair, I was surprised one of you didn't get it. Which um, one do you think of us should have got it? <laughs> <laughs> Probably me. <laughs> uh, no, it was in a, it was in a garden of a, a couple of birders who happened to live together. Which is absolutely lovely, um, but yeah, it was what part the of that, the that whole. Was. Yeah, yeah, and that's uh, yeah, that's, that's kind how of. That's how it all started. Yeah, well, hang on, that's hang on. Cool. Two oh, two man. gay birders living together. That's not a club, Johnny. No, they that's started a, a club. relationship. <laughs> the, the club's the club's not going anymore because I'm Menage saying. Menage the next day. Everybody thought, oh, well, I, I can't no join more. that club. There's already two of them. <laughs> I think it is still going. Well, I think the gay bird no. club is still going. Yeah. yeah, probably is. But yeah, yeah Reddish right, Bunton is the is the famous bird from that that sort of uh, story. 
Number one, I'm going to verify that. Number two, if it's true, we're getting them on Birders Twitter 100%. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Got to go for the um, diversity, equality angle for all these things. But, not, um, this is not the agenda, is it? This is not no, what we're meant to be talking no, about. No, this was just where I was going to try and massage us into Patchwork Challenge. Oh and, God, uh, yeah, that's a thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing, and that that's that's why we're here at half past eight or twenty to nine now, um, on a a Wednesday evening. So James is um, in a rush. Yeah, yeah, I've I've got a, <laughs> I've got work in the morning, boys. Um, <laughs> all right. So do, shall do I? Do you not have the... your uh, four thirty alarm for sea watching sorted yet? I do not have that. I I have small children. Well medium-sized children and uh, the idea of getting up at that time and then telling them to shut up later is not not on yeah. my agenda anytime soon well i've missed 500 corries past my patch today so more yeah, and more I, I have, you were, Corys, have you seen yeah. how many corries has been in the southwest today off just, island just about to say yeah, that yeah, yeah. So, Six, 1600 oh, past galley head wasn't it yeah almost oh, as many yeah. as listen to birders twitter yeah Oh yeah, yeah. We'll be, we'll, yeah. I'll be discussing all the corries I've seen in West Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> it's all those Corey Shearwater Shit. bots on Twitter, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I've only, I've only just caught up. I've only just managed to look at bird guides. Holy shit, man! That's a lot of corries. Right, you've had two nice. swears now, Johnny, and now now that's two <laughs> swears already. Come on, James. Take yeah, control I'm, of this thing. Get your, get your, get your I'm doing the damnedest. Right, I'm putting you on slideshow. Let's get this going. Share. Right, can you see that, gentlemen? Yes, yes we can. Yeah. Excellent. It's a beautiful thing. Oh. Right, we'll take over then, Mark. You run us through Okay. Okay, here's the running order for tonight. So the bird is Twitter mob. I mean, we've already heard plenty from them. So uh, perhaps, you know, we'll just race through the rest of it. <laughs> we uh, need to do that. It's the mini leagues. Then we're going to talk about the best birds. It's been a quiet-ish June, though, so that won't take very long. Then a bit more mini leagues. And then there's a court of appeal that has no cases to debate. So Christ knows uh, what we're going to do with that bit. We didn't delete that there. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, we'll just gloss over it. Yeah, and then there's even more mini leagues and the bits of patch gold and some top tens. And then we're going to have a we because we want to talk about inland patches a bit this this time around. We're going to have a throwback to some of the better birds that have um, that have appeared on inland patches on Patchwork Challenge. Your moment to shine, Johnny, will be later. Um, and then we'll finish on some August inland predictions, maybe focusing on there. Uh, yeah, some in August inland predictions. I don't know why I said that twice, but there you go. I've heard it twice. So nice. next slide, please, James. So here we go. <laughs> Look at that. Twitter, folks. Oh, Introduce my word. yourself. Oh, so serious, grim. man. So serious. That is so grim. <laughs> it's for the ladies, man. Look at how so, serious that is. Johnny, what were you, Johnny. What were you looking at there, Johnny? Yeah. What were you looking Look, what's at? What's going on, dude? You need what? to um, tell us what Birders Twitter is. Oh, well, Birders Twitter is like a podcast, except without any of the security and safe platform that would come with a podcast. <laughs> so it works variously some weeks and some guests can get on and sometimes you can listen back and we talk about birds. Yeah, that's pretty much summed it up. I mean, I can yeah, add a yeah. little bit to it. A little bit to it and that I think it's we did it we did it as a laugh we did it as a laugh uh me and Johnny and DDL right from the start um it were a bit of fun we thought it, it might be entertaining and people might join in and I kind of assumed it would probably you know ritter out in Three weeks, six weeks, whatever it was, um, and now we're into I don't know what is it a year and a half? About a year yeah, and a half, isn't it? A year and a half, at least a year. And as we were talking before we started last week, a lot of people have listened back to the chat we had with Brian and stuff, and it and it kind of varies, and 
we're kind of not interested because we have a really nice time, even if nobody listens. So that's all right. We don't get loads of live listens, but, you know, I expect to, uh, at six o'clock on a Sunday night, people have got a lot of stuff to do. But that's when we're free. So we just have a chat and we do some predictions for the coming week. And we talk about what we've seen or not seen, how we've not found our predictions. Um, <laughs> I don't think we're ever. I think well, we managed I mean, to I mean, see. A I don't think. I don't think anybody's found a prediction yet. I don't think anybody's found one. Oh no, I have. I found one. Can't remember what it was, but I found one. Brilliant. I think it might have been, it, it, it was pretty. It, it was like a expected thing. What you're definitely going to find next week, but what, like a yellow hammer. <laughs> no, well, it was better than that. It might have been something like locally interesting, like a. Tree, I can't remember. I don't know. Tree pipit, maybe. I don't know. I think it um, might have actually been. I think I'm. I'm only saying tree pipit because I'm expecting tree pipit next week or the week after. Just, so. say, just say words, do. Just say words with authority. Well, I was I doing was, until that, you interrupted yeah. me. But let's uh, let's bring yeah, this one to patch so, to patch birding a little bit. So obviously we want to talk about um, inland patches. You you guys both have inland patches. I guess my first question is that. If you could choose to have a patch anywhere in the country, as inland patches, which part of the coast would you choose? If you could have an inland patch anywhere on the coast, that's not is that what you that, said. That's not what I said. <laughs> if you could choose to <laughs> sounded, have a patch sounded, anywhere, sounded like that. Uh, if I could have any inland patch, uh, I'd go back to Pugnes. Yeah, would no, they have you yeah. back? Are you allowed back, though? I'd be welcome back with Oakman Arms. Bloody hell. Do you miss it, then? Oh, God. Hugely, hugely. It's, I, I mean, what. it's only it, it's 12 miles away. So it's not just, a patch. Just that bit too far, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not a patch. Yeah. Can't, who can't who pop, else patches more than 12 miles away, Johnny? Uh... I'm, I'm, I don't I'm know. You patch, you've probably I'm got better data up. than that. Well, I, I know, Mister Rankin. Where, whereabouts is your patch, uh, no, Mister Rankin? Is miles oh, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge. <laughs> I might as well have Spurn as my patch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, because um, well, I have been out on patch today from the house. Good lad. I've still got the same patch I always had on my bike, mm. but I can't be bothered to do the admin on that. So I spend a lot of time over in Blythburgh. Because um, I live in Suffolk, I have a second home. Uh, that, that's that's not true. That's not true. It was, yes. it was like a... How he does a a second home, doing if you... <laughs> he just crashes at somebody's house. Basically, a very good friend of mine lives uh, in Blythburgh, and I spend a lot of time there, and I look after her dogs. So I'm there, like, every other weekend. And it's the perfect mix of being really um, just sufficiently inland that you don't get any people. So it's not got like all the dirty people you get at Walberswick or Southwold or um, Minsmere. So basically where the estuary ends and becomes a river and reed bed, that is basically slap bang in the middle of my patch. And there happens to be a public house there. So it met my requirements. Oh, and um, oh, yeah, it's just that. lovely, man. Yeah. So I obviously like I stay there all the time, sometimes midweek. And um, yeah, it's killer, man. Spent a lot of time there since about July 2020. Nice. So, what sort of things is, is are on the horizon for you? So, we've had tree pipit from Johnny R. But what sort of things are you going to be looking out for over the next few weeks? Um, basically, wader numbers will build, and I'll be looking for like if, if there's um, even as early as like August, if there's a shower. We can get like, you know, like a, a wee fall of like lesser white throat, spot fly, uh, willow warbler, that sort of thing. Willow warbler have absolutely crapped the bed in Suffolk, man. Crap the bed. Like, we're all chiff chaff. Well, they've all, I, they've uh, all normally gone you further could... north, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. So I'm relying on like a shower in August to get, get a bird like in, in someone's garden as I walk down. Yeah, which is a mental thing to say. Like, it's crackers. But uh, we did have a sing in Lesser White Throat early in the year, but things like Spot Fly, I need them on passage, like, to get them on the list. But, uh, yeah, pretty much from here on in, 
it's just anything goes like it's all to play for. We're not on the coastal belt, but you could still get like a honey buzz. You could still get a Monty's, whatever, really. It's it's all there. Just time in the field. Yeah, of course. What about you, other Johnny? Uh, well, like I say, I'm 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 not a Pugnies now. I'm at a, a place that's got no water, so my um, horizons have been readjusted. Um, but <laughs> wind chat is certainly once we get into August. Wind chat, I'd say Red Star, but I found one in the spring, so that was good. Um, but that that's the kind of thing, and I suppose if I'm been a bit aspirational then uh we're definitely due a red back shrike i'm gonna I, i'm gonna find one of them sometime soon you know, johnny have, have you I, got, got um if you've got red back shrike on your cell phone this johnny yes i have ah uh, bollocks you got that since 2014 then i found two since then actually i i've self found you, them do you both. remember though do you remember that I got out of the car and you went to the front and I went yes, to the back I do. and I found yes, the red I do. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh man, it was so good. And you were like, you were like, basically, that was your banker on that trip. And then it I, was on I got Shetland. It. it was one of the commoner birds we saw. <laughs> it was literally like a daily coach, but in a way, though, I did get that, didn't I? You know. But mm. you carry on. You carry on. No, you know, no, that, that that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at. I've got a two small, small bits of water. If I get uh, seven or eight species of wader a year, I've absolutely smashed it, and that's including things like lapwings and oyster catchers and the odd fly through curlew. So any other wader is generally good. I normally get green sand in the winter, but it's not guaranteed at all. Um, but no, for August, I will go red back shrike. Should we, should we move on? Because listening to Johnny talk about his prospects for the year is probably getting everyone down. So uh, <laughs> let's, let's, have a, let's have a flick through the slides, James. So this we were supposed to have DDL on, of there. course. But I've it's... stood there, dude. What did you I see when you were picture. stood there? What you know that. Right... What are you shouting about? You won't know what you saw from there. Uh, you're getting bit, son. I stood right there. I saw Sicotia cormorant. I saw um, striated heron, reef Blimey. heron, um, some other shit out on the sea. I didn't see white cheek turn. Uh, oh, we had a fly over Egyptian geese in the bay. <laughs> oh, God. Boom. And there was... Um, there was like things like purple sunbird and crested lark singing. If you look, so if you look back in that picture, you see the uh, there's like a palace and then there's a tree line. Yeah, yeah. That white wall next to the tree line, basically from there back over, it goes to like scrubby habitat. Now, I can't remember this the name of this species, but it's called like a prinia or a pruner. Delicate pruner, prinia. Delicate pruner, Yeah, something like that. That was uh, sticking about in there. Um, lots and lots of house crows, uh, common miners. Well, I think I smashed that. I smashed that. <laughs> I smashed it. All right, James. Let's have a look, let's have a look at the other pictures of uh, of Dubai, and then we'll move on. Oh, it just looks like a building site. Why so, have we got loads of pictures? Site. We've so got loads of pictures me. of DDL's patch, but no DDL. Because he's, he's not here to defend himself. Um, <laughs> so this is, oh, it's this nice is... that he sent some pictures, though. So you get things like, um, is it, you get pallid swift. Is it pallid swift over here? They nest on, uh -huh. they nest on like low rise buildings. Um, yeah. And he does get things like oriental skylark in this scrub at the right time of year. And he had like a really good spread of um, they had like an unprecedented spread of um, shrikes this year. Red backed um, wood chat. They had the most wood chat I think they've had in like a spring. Blah blah blah. Doing DBL's work for him here. Unbelievable. Feel free to stop if you want. I mean, none of us want to hear about it. Yeah. I was say you're rattling right on now, a bit right about now, something you got... don't know anything about. I know. <laughs> if she you can't get out the bath to join us. 
he basically has loads of white cheeked and bridal turn off here at the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, that he in various uh, ages and plumages that he burns on about. Yeah, oh, it's a nice place, man. It's a nice place. Oh, it looks lovely. Right then, <laughs> let's let's do some mini leagues. Now, there was a slight panic before we started doing this because. Uh, I looked at the slideshow and I couldn't. I realised that the writing was too small for me to read. So James has very hurriedly put everything into a different font and a different colour for me. Or at least I hope he has. He's got his head in his hands. I, so, I, I, I hope it's there, is all I can say. I've whizzed through it very quickly just before well, the Bird of Twitter's lads joined us. So uh, we, we you know what, Just make it up, dude. Just I'm say it with you. confidence and make it up. But Also, James... Nobody actually cares about this bit, or no. I dare say any of the other bits either. So no. let's just fire on. The people right. that care about it are still out in the field. <laughs> right then, we're going to start with the SGN 10K League. Irene Boston's at the top of that. Uh, and her highlights were still some issues after the scores were deleted. So uh, well played for getting that one, Irene. Next it page. smashed it! Brilliant. <laughs> What a fine. Okay, here we go. So, SGN, proper patch, three kilometres. Paul Bowman's at the top of that league. He had a night jar from his bedroom window. I can only dream of something like that. Still never seen a night jar in Scott. That's not true. Seen a night jar in Orkney, but not from a bedroom window. What else have we got? We've got uh, highlights from John Conn and Hume at the bottom of there. A hobby in Maine, an American golden plover as well. So, Paul Bowman's got 155 species, which is bloody remarkable. Halfway through the year, he's got more than I'm going to see in an entire year. Anyway, One, sickening. Five, Move on. Five, that's, that's mad, that. It's good, isn't it? It's good going. So, uh, second half, bottom half of the league, Craig Mackay's uh, mid-table mediocrity there, 120 points. Joel Tragen, five species, five points. Must try harder, Joel. I, I, I need to have a word with Toby There's no Collett. way. I was Toby no Collett, way Toby Collett only got. 93. No way. <laughs> it's just not... Absolute lies. That's, mental. Lies. That's <laughs> absolutely lies. Sat in the cafe, lies. isn't he? He's absolute just sat lies. in the cafe eating, eating cake and drinking lattes. I'd be on 120 from the cafe. <laughs> my, I was going to say, like, I'm I think my Toby. list isn't updated, but Toby is chilling. That's hard chilling, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to drop it on December 31st. That's the thing. It's all just going to go shooting up that league. Anyway, Johnny, let's... Johnny, we're getting Toby back on next week to update. And to that's explain nonsense. themselves. That's nonsense. <laughs> He's in Birdwatch Who, magazine this, this week. 184 seen... species. Jake, that's Jake, incredible. That's just crazy, man. This is crazy chat. What is this? So Nigel Lound, Gibraltar Point, 100, 184 species, 266 points. What? That's, that's, chill out, man. That's a 10K yeah, pack. That's, that's half of Lincolnshire, isn't it? So Yeah, that's just oh, bird that's 10K. watching in England. Oh, right. well, it's okay. It's okay. It's not Maybe even a proper patch. patch. Move oh, on. Great. Somebody had a marsh warbler. Move on. Okay, now we're talking. Proper patches, coastal east, east there, coastal east <laughs> England. Jacob Stinks at the top four, of the pile. That's that's one eight fours. That's big for what we in late July. Look at one eight four. Yes, look. What oh, got. oh, look at Jacob topping at it that. out. Nearly two hundred species. Uh, so, Jacob is I'm my boy. That. Jacob's my boy. He is sired he? him. Yeah, man. Does he know He's this? He's on milk. He grew him. <laughs> Poor Jason. Right, 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 right. Well, let's just calm down a little bit. I am technically old enough to have sired Jacob, but I didn't. Do you know he's you a didn't? he's a top Look, little no, bird no, no, of that no. guy? That he's guy. Back. No, yeah, no. Let's so let's maybe. let's not do this. Not not right now. Let's get through the mini leagues, <laughs> and you can speculate on people's heritage at the end. Oh, I, okay. it's, I think it's going to be important to get to the bottom of it, though. I just wanted to say that by the end of this year, Jacob is going to have seen more species at Spurn than I will have ever seen at Girdle Ness. And that's... <laughs> yeah. what's, yeah. what's your Girdle Ness? What's your Girdle Ness list on, man? 200, 220? 219. That's still pretty so, punchy, man. That's still pretty good. It's not bad. It's not he, he only needs 20, 23 species or something. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe yeah, hobbling. He'll not he'll yeah. not them off in September. 
Exactly. Exactly. Maybe, yeah. Maybe dead leg him, Johnny. There's a reason. Like you... There's a reason people say Spurn's the best birding place in the world. You look very smug right now. Look at the smugness on you. I haven't been to Spurn since May. You, you reek of it. You do. You reek of it. That's well, James. Next slide. I'm not going to say anything. Like that's all. Everyone in there has got more than me. So um, yeah. Well, I'm let's let's just uh, just give a little bit of credit to James Brown, who had spotted sand on his proper patch as opposed to his fake patch. Oh, and... he did. Yeah, but he but because he was a bit like near that place where you suppress, he didn't tell anyone. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, what uh, East Norfolk? Yeah, man, like the black heart. The amount of grief he used to give me for suppressing things. I'll have to, I'll have, to have words with him now. But better than that is uh, Dan Langston's Bismuck Peck Sand. I mean, Dan's yeah, been that's brilliant. A, that's a really no, good bird, that is. That's dirty. Can we yeah, give him more great, points man. for that or something? Does he get well, more points he... for having that one? He he needs, needs, well, he'd need to submit it to the uh, arbitration board, wouldn't he? Exactly. Judge, Judge Judy exactly. and Executioner needs to get involved. I would, I would definitely give him extra points for it. I just like to say, I, I taught if him I all he knows. Up. He came and sea watched with me in the Falkland <laughs> Islands. So, it's know. just Dan Langston. Yeah. Have you have you been to the Falkland many... Islands, Ryan? I was there briefly. Yeah. <laughs> you never mentioned it, dude. You never yeah, mentioned, you don't mention it. it. Have you? Um, did you see a Bismig peck sand with him in the Falklands? Uh, I didn't see a Bismig one. I found a few, but not not. Yeah, Bismig but you could you could claim it. You you could like go deep now, and then oh, when did, he tries to claim it, it could be like. It did fly over my head once. So well, there you go, That's it. Yeah, in a way, right. in a way, you helped find that. In a way. So middle of the table for coastal East England. What have we got? Someone called James Spencer wanging on about crossbills. Mm. Uh, oh, that's yeah. the only highlight there. So a bit more, please, James. And no and highlights at the bottom. Nothing. There's no way Alan Tilmer's on 78. It's quite likely Alan hasn't updated since January, I'd have thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we'll have, have to give him a me. bit of a, a he's, nudge. Um, he's had the grey-headed lapwing. <laughs> so, like, so this, oh, is yeah, yeah. So this must be the point this must be the point where we can talk about how debilitating patchwork challenge is <laughs> it's, it's hugely debilitating because when it started uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong guys 10, 12 Dan. years ago 12... number one you are number one 10 years <laughs> ago I, 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 don't, I don't know what he's shouting about uh, ten, years ago, yeah. <laughs> um, ten years ago. It was innovative. It was hugely exciting. And it was hugely relevant only to me and a few people who were patching at the time. And I presume this is why uh, this podcast goes. I was um, really into my patch and stuff, and this kind of gave it a bit of a bit of a focus. It, it drove me insane for two years. So <laughs> if if you're listening and thinking of getting involved in Patchwork Challenge, you know, in in like rather than just putting my stuff in and see see what happens, but in, in, in being competitive, don't do it. Don't don't do it. Because it'll drive you mental. It was crazy. <laughs> I end up like two Bill years. Of, it ruins life, two man. years it's of like, talk. It's like heroin. I found a huge amount of rare and scarce birds, but it it cost me uh, weight. It cost me money. It cost me um, all sorts of really personal things. So don't do it. Don't get involved. Patchwork challenge is a really Really, really dangerous thing. It's like a gateway drug to heroin. Yeah, you know, it's basically heroin in a way. I would agree with everything that Johnny said, but what I would say is that anyone who's got this far on this recording has, is not going to be considering taking up Patchwork Challenge yeah. seriously. <laughs> I mean, surely we've done enough to put them off so far. <laughs> these these guys are on the methadone already. <laughs> well, I loved it. I loved it. Oh, the, the, the two or three years that I did it was just like the 
best patchwork stuff I've ever done. You know, I, I was going out at stupid o'clock. I was going out at stupid o'clock in the evening. I was going out when I shouldn't be going out. And I've, and I've found stuff that I wouldn't normally have found just because I was competing with mates and local no, areas. It's, it's just so good. So good. And I wish my... I mean, I... I don't really have a, a proper local patch now. I have a local area. I have a 10 kilometer circle. And then depending on the time of year and the weather, I, you know, it sort of kind of varies where I go because we haven't got a body of water, mm. which is why I'd say I miss Pugnies. So, after Johnny's. Um, he loves ducks. He loves come ducks. On. <laughs> Shut up, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> after mr holiday's confessional uh well done dan newton for being top bottom uh wow is still closed but i believe it's it well wow was reopened according to dan so hopefully he managed to get back on patch uh in july uh we'll go to coastal scotland mark do you feel like we ought to be getting on with this james is, this, uh, is that what's happening here uh, a little bit, a little bit. We'll, 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 okay. we'll have some more stuff in a bit. <laughs> okay, sorry. Coastal Scotland. Julian Smith, Spotted Creek, White Bull Diver, awesome. Rob Hughes, Nibster, two times Marsh Wobbler, Bish Bash Bosh, same, it's not on proper patches. Move on. No. There you go. On Coastal proper Scotland. patches, though. Proper patches, sorry? On proper patches, there's been some good birds here in Coastal Scotland, hasn't there? Absolutely. Yeah, well, good Spotted on Creek and White Bull. No, uh, look, you're, you're gonna get you're gonna get your fucking chance with this, all right? Let's just get this done. <laughs> 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 Pipe right, down. Next, where's, um, next slide. Where's that? What, was it? Where was does Andy nice? Cowell live? What? Do? what? Where does Andy Cowell live? Um, uh, he lives near a strap bag. Yeah, yeah I think he yeah, lives at Mintler or something. Yeah, Peter Head or something, isn't he? Um, is he not on? What, is he not on here? No, no, no. Why, why is White Crown Sparrow not on your list, Mark? Like I said, you can have you go at this later on. Let's just get this mini oh, done. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, look at it there. Look at it there. Twisting the blade. Oh. <laughs> no. Coastal South England. Ten K patches. Mark, I thought you birded good on this. But I, Mark, I, I used you to. There. I used to, but I made some. I made some sort of really bad life choices and now i now i can't do it <laughs> he lets andrew tell him what's there though it's all right yeah it's good he's good he's good for that so chris tallon oh, had eddie rob johns boom boom yeah she's top got of the a sick league. column nice sick one, column in uh, bird watch yes that was really good wasn't it that was really good no highlights or nothing there uh, worth mentioning but fair play to chris tallon for Devon's first Savvy's Wobbler in 10 years. To me, that's the sort of thing that the Court of Appeal should be having a wee look at. I mean... Mm. Devon's first Savvy's Wobbler in 10 years. There's yeah. no way that's true, like. There's no way that's true. That's just... I mean, yeah. That does seem Try harder, mad. Devon. Yeah. Yeah, try harder, Devon. A Savvy's is really rare away from East Anglia, isn't it? Yeah. Really rare. Uh, anyway, Coastal uh, South England, the, the bottom half... No. One out of two, the top half. Oh, flipping heck. Oh, Jesus. Who's top of this list? Someone who... Yeah, Wilson's someone who's, Petrol. Uh, it was Wilson's Petrol from Wilson. Landon. Yeah. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Has that Wilson's Petrol been accepted yet? Yeah, by the PWC, many. Maybe, there was a lot. Maybe. The very no, I, committee that, that, that day, I think I had two, but the Port Guara, which is like a mile away from me, they had six... And they had some together, so hang on, it was right, a crazy on. little spell yeah. at the end of June. You think you had two? No, I Ryan, didn't. Ryan, Ryan, is that a self found tick? It's a fine tick, yes. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what, somebody else found it. But the reason I think the only reason I'm top, I think Joe Stockwell hasn't updated for about two months, has he? So he's been on one nine one since about April. Oh, I don't know. I mean, your uh, points per bird species is massive compared to his. Yeah. Stop finding enough. Yeah. yeah. When are you going to stop Box moving? Forward. This is it. This is it. I am now in Cornwall. Not allowed to leave now. What took you to Cornwall, dude? <laughs> uh, that's Well, I used to live here, and that's where my partner lives. She's, she grew up oh, here. Oh, no shit. So, yeah, yeah. So we moved back. 
Yeah, yeah. Good choice, man. Good choice. Are they still going to go for independence? <laughs> I don't think it's political, claiming... sure. I don't think it's uh, political. No, I don't, I don't think they survive. Like, there's a river that joins up and they keep claiming independence. <laughs> Whereas we hope Essex goes for independence. Cornwall, like, could do. Anyway, James, there's nothing nothing really worth mentioning here, so let's just move on to the next one. Ah! Well, we're, we've done it. We've done it. It's we're taken done. us a, a million. This is going to be the longest episode ever, but I love it already. So I'll let you do you, You're talking, James. I don't even know why I interrupted. You can carry on with the best bird. But... Uh, oh, right. Um, OK, so Hugh Venables inland treble. So Hugh is in East Anglia. He's doing Oosven. Uh, I think he's doing a 10K patch and a 3K patch. <laughs> And he's found, well, he's seen, I don't know about found, but he's seen uh, Drake Blue Wing Teal singing Little Crate. Well, he didn't see that, obviously, he heard that. And uh, Caspian Turn, which is a, a pretty decent trio of birds. Um, yeah. I'm sure, I mean, they've all I been did. seen. Seen at Pugnies? Yeah, what, what, what are those of the uh, other Pugnies? None of, the, none of those are on the Pugnies list. Um <laughs> He's had a Capsian turn as sad. well. That's sad. Yeah. Sad story. <laughs> I thought you might have had turn. Yeah, Capsian turn. Um, so, I, found, yeah. I, I found two Caspian turns. They're both on my self-found list. Um, both of them. I found one at a tiny little reservoir when I was a wee 17-year-old. And I've had a fly past at Spurn as well that I found. So very nice. Very nice. nice. They're both self-found. So that, they're, they're some very good inland birds um, for our inland special. Uh, and then we've got um, a song sparrow in May. So uh, Ed Betridge had, uh, oh. following a song sparrow in May, Ed Betridge had white-throated sparrow and uh, he had eastern subalpine warbler all on Bardsey. So, I mean, it's a bit cheating on Bardsey. They always get great birds. I mean, I remember the Cretch bunt in there a few years ago. So... But yeah, crackers and that song sparrow obviously last did month. You, a... Did you twitch that, James? No, no, no. I don't do dirty things like oh, that. Oh, that that might be my favourite twitch ever. I think <laughs> it sounded like mayhem. People trying to get across from the. No, it was, was, it was it all right? Beautiful. Was it all right? It was beautiful. Yeah, well, if you turn up at two o'clock in the morning. Well, uh, yeah. No, that's. Uh... <laughs> I've got <laughs> no idea my... what's going on. Was there a song sparrow this year? Yes. yes. Last month. Right. Right. That makes more sense because at the moment I was like, what is going on here? Some man's just making <laughs> stupid noises and saying sparrow lots of times and there's pictures. So it's fine. Right. It's... Can we crack on and get all the sparrow chat out of the way? Uh, well, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. So anthro bird at Andrew Whitehouse. <laughs> I didn't expect to see a white crowned sparrow at Girdle Nest today. But here we are. Found by spray? Raymond Duncan at Tory Battery at 9am. Where's Tory Battery, Mark? Still there. <laughs> <laughs> and if you find the Is local that not where you go birding, Mark? It's where I used to go birding, man. I used to go birding quite a lot. But um, I mean, if you look at the local, the local Facebook pages as well, there's at least 30 or 40 people that saw it, wasn't there? Yeah. I mean, it was, it was sure, there all sure, day, I believe. Would have told you about it. It wasn't, it wasn't singing, quite wasn't there it? all day. Uh, yeah. Do you know what, actually? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll am i be honest now. I'm not that bothered that I missed it. I, it would have been nice to see it. But, uh, it. It, it, would have been, it would have been really, really nice to find it, obviously. I'd have been really, really excited about that. But as soon as it's someone else has found it, then it, that takes pretty much all the gloss off it for me. And <laughs> the reason it's I didn't soiled. see it... Yeah, Soiled the goods. reason I didn't see it was because I was at a baby shower, and uh... <laughs> I call bullshit. No, I true. don't. I think this is that. That sounds like hundred percent. I can see Mark dressed up in pink, presenting presents to the uh, expectant. Mother. I don't want to. <laughs> no, like you do, isn't it, Mark? Pardon? <laughs> That photograph no longer exists. I keep looking for it online, but it's not there anywhere. Um, no, so, genuinely, I was I was at a baby shower, and uh, I mean, I, the news came out at about 
midday. The bird was found at about nine o'clock. The news came out at about midday. Oh, he's dead. Oh, they're suppressing up there as what, well. What were they doing for three hours? Did Ryan oh find God. it? Probably. Oh. Uh, I mean, yeah. He still would know about it if I did. I don't, uh, to be fair, I don't think the, the guys knew what it was. I, mean, they, I think they knew that it was an American sparrow or whatever, but they hadn't they hadn't worked out what it was. It was some ringers. There's a lot of ringing goes on there, trapping linnets and goldfinches and stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess it just wasn't their priority getting the news out. And then, I, so, you know, I was... Question, daft question, Mark. Where is your patch? It's called Girdle Ness. You yeah, but you, Johnny, but you, Johnny, you've been on. But I don't know why you're chilling. To see a blind I don't know why he's chilling boy. about it. You're an idiot. I know, but why are you so relaxed about this if it was on your patch? Because it, I didn't. Because it's it wasn't a really for... rare bird that he's never going to see there again. So he's trying to be cool about it, and you're <laughs> ruining it. <laughs> no, no that, genuinely. We should probably move on, dude. This is getting tense. <laughs> Christ, we shouldn't have mentioned this. Sorry, I, I, did, I didn't this. put it in the agenda. We are in charge oh, of the agenda. God. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm All gonna... right. Okay. I'll tell the truth. I'm fucking furious about it. <laughs> no, that's better. That's better. Now we all feel oh, we like, Why do we talk? Why do we focus on this pectoral sandpiper that somebody saw flying, and all of a sudden it's Vismig, which makes it oh. wonderful. String your shit's fine, <laughs> just bang it on and then get over it. I mean, it looks That's pretty just... much like a, a nice peck sand. you got to be happy with that. Spring peck yeah, sand in flight. That's, that's good skills. Yeah, he... yeah it's nice. Uh, he but... a, he's a killer bird of him. When he up on the off aisles last year, Dan Langston, he found loads of mad stuff, I think, last I, autumn. I, I think last year he was, didn't he do a mental year at Bulmer? Because that's cause one of the reasons why we've come back. It's no, that's like where he lives. Of... That's where he yeah, lives. Yeah, he, found, yeah, yeah. he found the Virio, didn't he? Yeah. The, yeah he, oh, the things. Honestly. Mm. Yeah, he's a total but, beast, man. He found loads you know, last year. You know where you know where he was schooled, don't you? Uh, uh, the Falkland Islands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was schooled at Spurn. It was schooled at Spurn. The school of Spurn. Yeah. Uh, Johnny, did I tell you about the time I found a ring oozle from the oh, anchor? For fuck's sake. From the window and the anchor, I found a ring oozle. I'd done that. Right. So so there was a day where there was like, uh, I think, 30 ring oozles went down you in can the never be happy There was probably more than that. You can never be happy. I mean, if you Johnny had a saw finger a ring oozle fly past the window while we were having a beer in the crown. Right. Sounds good that, to me. That, that, that's the whole the story. Well. That's the whole story. It's <laughs> rubbish. I'd be delighted. Anyway, just, James, can't be happy crack on. Honourable mentions. So we've got a short-toed, a greater short-toed, I hate that, but a short-toed lark at Dale Airfield. That's a good good find. Rosie well, no, Starling. We've got to do a load of stuff with short-toed larks now, Mark. It's, mm. it's difficult, James. It's difficult. We have to, they're Asian or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, I appreciate that. But this one <laughs> was, was just a short toed lark. Uh, yeah. No, it's a very good bird. Very good bird. A rosy starling at Titchwell, which there haven't been loads this spring, I don't think, has there? Ooh. No, it's been, um, been rather scarce. No, scarce this year. AGP at Cly, um, which is a bit more standard fare, I guess. And um, I mean, Wilson Storm Petrol at St. Burian and on Silly. So, yeah, we've, we've touched on that. It's been a really good year for Wilson Stormies in the southwest so far um i hear there's been other stuff down there but i think we need to keep that for next month don't we ryan my dogs still weren't on my patch were they not no oh, that's, that's fine well you can tell us all about it then oh, uh, try no. harder ryan self find some birds come on i believe in you dude anyway i'll try it's been yeah been a bed bedroom night jar in seven side i don't know what that's that means a bedroom Gloucestershire. Is that Gloucestershire? Yeah. Yeah, Dude, yeah. That sounds so sordid. That's like a DDL <laughs> a bedroom record. night jar. No, stop it. Wow. No, you are. I just oh I just actually I just had a bedroom night jar over there. Just seen I it. Did, just seen it. <laughs> Full bedroom <laughs> night jar. Charlie, we'll be over there. It'd be I an ear. saw the whole of the night jar. Oh. <laughs> That's yeah. so beautiful, then. 
Sorry, oh, guys. Lovely. Sorry. Green Wing Teal at Lady Walk. And a little bit in somewhere. It doesn't get it doesn't get a location. So uh, perhaps it's on the, <laughs> the, the maybe secret just list. Epic, man. Yeah, yeah. So, well, so honestly, someone's just gone Ryan like found chilling. That. Uh, I found well, that little bin. And obviously, there's the uh, first Savvy's Warbler for a million years in Devon. So um, that's, that's, that is mental. That that's is excellent. mental. Given like, think about Somerset. There must be Savvy's there every year. There, yeah, there are. And like, there's Habbo in Devon. Yeah, there so, is. I mean, my dad lives in Devon, so I'll probably have a go at him later. I'll be like, <laughs> well, you're not bothering, mate. Why have you not tried hard? <laughs> And that that appears to be the full list for honourable mentions, but some decent birds considering it's a quietish time of the year. Um, I suspect that's a it's huge gonna be... amount of birds, huge amount of birds for June. That's pretty, pretty good, good, isn't it? Yeah, oh, that's Quite brilliant. Good. So we're into the second session of min leagues. Ryan, you need to do some talking, man. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> See if you can get a word in, Ryan. <laughs> All right. Yes. I'm down. So, <laughs> coastal, coastal Wales. Uh, Dave Astons is hot with 144 points. And then looking at the highlights, someone found a Gorgony, a little ring plover. Should be worth more than one point. No, it shouldn't. Yeah. No, it shouldn't. We'll, go to, we'll wait no, for the shouldn't. quarter appeal for that. And then the other highlights were a, a Vismig Medgull and a slow <laughs> month. What, so, wasn't, yes. it, wasn't it the GAN where we had the short toed lark though? Was that right? Really? Have I just have I got confused? Was that a different patch? Oh, Doesn't... yeah, it was the thing, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. You just forgot to write it there. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Forgettable, right. forgettable. And then <laughs> the and Coastal also, Wales ten k. Shout out Amy Schwartz. Is that it? Coastal Wales. We've got three patches in Coastal Wales. This is this is a ten k one. This is the not the real patches. Patch. Yeah. Some oh, random right. guy called Matt Boa on one three four <laughs> is winning, but there is no highlights. Must do better. <laughs> Mark Hughes is a legend. Coastal West England. Yeah, right. it's North Wales. Come on. <laughs> and Jane Turner is in the lead. Well, she's running away with it. I can't see anyone. Reading here, but again, no highlights. Come on, everyone, put in some highlights. Oh, actually, find some highlights. Mm. Jane Turner should be putting the highlights. Jeez. And then oh. Pierre is still winning the 10k league. I don't think he's updated for a couple of months, but I think he might win this one. Yeah, yeah, it, it looks like he's gonna win. Oh, shit. The pressure's no, on. The pressure's What's on. that in, in Wakefield? Inland North, the 10k league. Just my, my boy. My boy is in there. Ah, oh, Joe Wood, my boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but he's still. Does. Joe Wood is still get, uh, trailing way behind Toby Holmes, though, at the moment. But let's go on to the real patches. Hey. Inland North Three K League, and well, Drake Ings is winning by wow. Well, that is a close league. The top three separated by four points. Yeah. Imagine Johnny if you've seen the good birds. Who are you predicting will win this one then, Johnny? Uh, if I'm having a look at that, I will go for... Well, I know John Law can't be asked, So, <laughs> uh, I think... I, I think Richard Scott will come through. Ah, OK. Well, He's out all the time. He's out all the time. Yeah, Duncan mm. Bai should be winning. By a huge amount, but he missed Squawko Heron, Purple Heron, and Black Kite. Well, That's a nightmare, isn't it? But he did see Green Sand. So. <laughs> the, the, I'll tell you the, what, Duncan. The comforting thing about Duncan, that is I don't need yeah. any of those for Yorkshire. If I was Duncan, I'd have tried to see the Squawko Heron, Purple Heron, and Black Kite, to be honest. On the day that they were there, mm. rather That's than going after, That's after what they'd, they'd, they'd gone. Done. Yeah, and then mm, even look at mm. that. Even way down near the bottom of the league, someone strung a night heron. It's still <laughs> way down there. <laughs> I'm sat where and I saw it as well. Self. Oh, why is it? Oh yeah, yeah, that looks dodgy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, should we put that in? Should we put that in for uh, like a uh, adjudication? So what, apparently like, there's nothing in, and uh, the only reason this... I came on was to judge other people's records. Oh, you, you so it's just going to be like. like 
We should have another section. It'll be the opposite of court of appeal. It'll be um... <laughs> fine. Small claims <laughs> court. <laughs> anyway, next slide. Why don't we James, give people something? Ah, James, small claims court. I like that. Right, uh, here we go. And then Pete Williams of PWC fame hey. is top of the second division in the North. And a f- nice quail is the only highlight on this one at Pontefract Racecourse. And then I didn't the hear about that. That's yeah. right near me. Oh, oh just, and, we've, and we've opened up suppression. Suppression. Just suppressing stuff. Yeah, for free no dead leg. Get good, dead good legs, Good going. Let's keep going. Let's keep anyway, going. Anyway, inland Scotland, 10k. There is no highlights, and Chris Pendlebury is still in the lead, but not too far. I've got ahead. a story to tell. I've got a story ah, to tell. Oh, my boy, my boy, Chris. <laughs> um, Johnny was meant to be going to um, Isle of May, but there's been a recent disgrace. So, because of um, what will come out in the press, he's no longer on the next episode of Love Island because of <laughs> what happened. So, so watch the press. Chris, uh, Chris Pender is allowed this? to go, and I'm not allowed to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Who did fine. you offend, Johnny? Uh, I didn't offend anybody. Really? I I decided Pansy. not to go for Pansy. personal reasons. <laughs> I mean, you can I'm say that. In a... <laughs> next slide, James. Yes, yeah, so let's go next slide. Yeah. Inland Scotland, real patches, and Loch Lomond is still ahead of uh, Loch Winnick. Chris Pendlebury again is there, and Chris the and only Lomond highlight in Inland Scotland in June was a house Martin. Why? Why has Chris got? <laughs> why has Chris Pendlebury got two lists? And uh, how are Chris, man? You need to chill out. Look at He's him got there, like, the big bastard. He, he has. He used to have like five or six. He's got yeah. three. Yeah. <laughs> He's got less than he yeah, normally I, has. I couldn't. Oh. I couldn't even administer that. Call the pill. This is this is the only bit I came for. I, I want to it. judge people's records. Come on. Um, I'd like to give Amy uh, Rob Johns Little Bitten and Green Heron. Okay, you're just giving her those first. <laughs> Not found them, but just. Yeah. Just gets Boom. the point. Court of appeal, isn't it? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, well, there are no appeals this month, but Judge Dredd or Pete Williams... Is that it? I've, said, I've sat that... through an hour and there's nothing. There's there's nothing, Johnny, I'm we're gonna We're going to bring something to the table for you, Johnny. It's all right. It's all good. <laughs> Only reason I came. The so hang on, before we, before we get on to the philosophical debate, James... I think we should discuss the Savvy's Warbler in Devon. Um, <clears throat> though the only thing I think that it has standing in its way is that it gets bonus points anyway. It's a 12-pointer, isn't it? It's a 12-pointer because it's a BB. So you can't really add much to that without making it an you absolute can, mega. You but can I think add that, one to it, though. What, make it a 13-pointer? Yeah, why not? We make the rules up. Is it? Is it? Is it? Proven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think well, we observe well, 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 no, if it's if it's a savage warbler and that's what the rules are, then Well, it gets twelve points, but it's it's uh has is it the first one in ten years in Devon? So do we all need to go and uh scan through the Devon oh. bird report? No, we're not I, that. I, I, we're not I, I, no, 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 we don't do things like that. Bit, like that. I'm <laughs> I'm joining in like a part of it, but surely you're not that <laughs> ill. It's a really rare bird in Devon. Just give it the yeah. extra point and well, do we do we not need to put it on a Twitter poll? If Twitter or X or whatever the this, this is this is another like question I was going to come on. Two or three points. Yeah, yeah. So I even think. Hang on, hang on. I think that if if um if Chris Townend wants the extra point for uh Savvy's Warbler, he at least has to do the decent thing and listen to this so we can claim it. Is he, is he, is he, him is he, is he begging? Is he begging if, for the point? No, he's if not he, begging for anything. Oh, right. No, I'll just give it Twitter. to him then. Just give it to yeah. him. No, because it's a brilliant find. Yeah. Well, I, I think... just looked on Twitter. Savvy's Warbler Devon. There's nothing there. So, in a way, if it's not on Twitter, did it happen? Uh, that's <laughs> that's fair. That I, you know, I, I respect that the science? fact that Twitter doesn't work, and you're now going to be called Experters, by the way. Experters. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Which is very professional. Shit. 
He's absolutely ruined it. Crap, man. Our entire Expert brand is space. ruined. <laughs> Expert like, is in space. We might get like Japanese businessmen and like, you know, we might get like model actresses. What do you call it? Like adult actresses. I think I think that if that if still if those stats are true, I think that's a brilliant find. I think yeah, I think it's worth all the points that it can accrue. I, okay. I'm all for giving it 13 points, the extra point, as long as Chris has listened to this this far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that is that I, where you I want to I think he probably it? doesn't want that extra point. <laughs> if if Ted was friends with Chris, please <laughs> let him know. Certainly not this week. <laughs> right. Uh next up, we we've done <laughs> Judge Dredd is done and dusted, so let's get into the reasonably sized debate. In a month with no court of appeals for extra points, what warrants a genuine appeal? Mark! You've cut us short. What what warrants a genuine appeal this month? Well, we've done savvies. What else warrants a genuine appeal? So I think oh. that basically anything where you can justify that it needs a few. I mean, it's all very well saying, I think Little Ring Plover should have two points or one point or whatever. Hmm. But what we really need is specific, you know, it, it, some information on why your specific bird is, is worth a bit more. So, you know, what it, it might be, a local rarity in terms of like a county level description species or something like that um or in scotland or wales you've got sort of scottish and welsh mm. rarities as well so for example up here a woodlark is extremely rare fewer records than white thrush but you'd only get two points for it so that's the sort of thing that i well, we thought got... would make a really a really sort of undeniable case at the court of appeal I, yeah, I well, totally agree. No, I totally agree. And I think um, from my point of view, we got a lot of appeals for Kitty Wake early in the year and we, we dismissed them all in one fell swoop. But we didn't really want to dismiss from, Kitty from Wake. From where? Uh, from inland. Inland. Yeah. Oh, Brooklyn, from inland, Kitty yeah, Wake, I've only had one. Bird. No, but everyone's had one. That's the thing. But what's the context? We need to know the context. Why is it a good find? Why is it a good bird? You know, we just need Probably a little good bit. In it's not proper good in Breckland, is it? Proper good in Breckland, you madhead! Yeah, no, it <laughs> be, no, it will be a rare bird. No, 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 I know. I'm being a dickhead. But uh, will, there's my one. Be an there's my one. Bird. Johnny's had nine. But, uh, oh, dear. James, James, James just said dick. Oh, oh, oh how uncouth. Okay. Oh, how uncouth. Awful behaviour. How dare I? Um, yeah, so my, my my take is we we like we're really interested in these really cool like local records, but we need them to be well documented. Tell us why. Give us the context and we'll give you extra points. Or at least let the Twitterati or whatever they're called these days make that decision for Nuttach. us. Nuttach. Are they called Nuttatches? Nuttatch is a fucking really difficult bird at Pugnies. Mm. Yeah. It's probably it's probably easy now because there's the yeah, obviously things of uh the tree growth developed and, and they do wander down the colder now. But in my day, it was a monster bird. I didn't see one for five years. And I think I saw two in the next five years. Yeah, I mean, it's, I, exactly I, it's, it's like a monster. It's like, it's like finding an Arctic skewer. It's, yeah, I, I, saw, saw... I, I think I saw as many Arctic skewers as I did nut hatches at Pugnies. I never saw not hatch at Hemsby. That was a proper mega in East Norfolk. Yeah. Well, you didn't see anything Same here. Go. Sorry, never, never left this sofa. He only saw things that were two k out to sea because <laughs> that's where his scope was pointed. Unless it flew past. Yeah, on Vismeg. <laughs> so, uh, have right. you got anything to add to this, Ryan, or uh, are we done? No, oh, well, I still think I should have got more than six points for a Wilson's petrol. But well, appeal we then, man. There. I did, what? and you all shot Wilson's me down. Petrol, they, they, man, basically they just sat out there waiting for somebody to say, I've seen one. I could drive oh, down to Cornwall next week. Um, I could drive down to Cornwall next Wales. week and say, I found Wilson's Petrol. What are you going to do? Well, that shut him up. Thank you. That did yeah. exactly <laughs> what we all said on our WhatsApp group. So but, sorry uh... about my friend. He's always like that. I'm sorry about him. He does that a lot. A lot of time. 
Can you come back? We could use There's a lot of mini time. leagues, dude. What what is this now? This is this, this is, is the admin last he- stretch. This is very admin heavy. We we know this. We we have been oh, we have no. tried is to condense this. Is it more? Everyone wants to see their mini league. It doesn't matter how few species they've seen. They want to see that they're 42nd in the inland south mini league. Yeah, so skip, it's, skip this is important stuff. Part. So yeah, um, right. Let's keep going. Uh, who's doing this lot? You. Oh God. Fast as so, you can, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's easy. So Hugh Venables found uh, Caspian Turn and saw Blue Wing Teal and Little Crate. We've already touched on this at Northstone Youth Town. He is running away with it in the Inland South 10K yeah, that's, League. Oh, yeah. um, that's pretty tidy stuff. Yeah, nice black turn for Marrick in a uh, Reading, and then Dave Helliar at Chard has had a Wood Sand. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about the Red Shank, but Great White Egret. Very nice stuff. Um, yeah, exactly. And then in the slower part of the league, uh, Sarah Harris is there and Tom Stevenson. Uh, Tom, I know Tom's at the bottom of the league, but Tom always works his backside off at all his uh, patches. So really good to see him involved this year. And then Inland South 3K, we've got uh, Sean Davies is top. He basically lives in nice. Spain. Yeah, so 143 species, 222 points, no highlights listed, but one suspects <laughs> that there will be one or two highlights from Hamwall and Shapwick Heath this month. Yeah. Um, Drew, Drew Linus is killing it, man. Yeah. yeah like this week he had uh, Turnstone, Grey Wing Tail. He's oh, a nice. beast, man. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. He's had the Cora Pippet last uh, year up on Shetland, White's Thrush. Did he find nice. that? I don't know. But he's yeah. a sick, uh, Bacora, sick bird of Drew. Can't just make shit up. Pecora, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's Pecora, Pecora. You can't say Pecora, Pecora either. It'd be takeaways. Pecora, Pippet, dude. Live a little. I'll order that as a starter. I'll have a battered Pecora, <laughs> Pippet, please. Um, it's what's about, man. Steve Atkinson at Middle Tame had a red back strike in land, which is nice, although he didn't claim to find it, that's so we don't know. That's a great know. find. Well, it is for someone. We don't know if it was Steve or if it's someone else. But uh, have you found we... the red by strike yet, Johnny? Stop it. Silence. Uh, Green wing teal for Peter Softly at Lady Walk, which is a first for sight, which is a really good record. That's um, great. That yeah, Ryan, some bloke called Ryan. We've already uh, had found... him. Why is he on again? Because uh, he claims his patch is both inland and coastal. Now that's that's oh like my um. God. Pa- Are you uh, having uh, uh, this? I sit in my house and I walk to the coast or I walk inland. Two different patches. <laughs> You've had an osprey on your walk inland. I'd love to know what I'd love to know what Ryan's self found list is. You wouldn't. Do you think? Do you think he would join your uh, two hundred and fifty club? I uh, maybe yeah. I, we I have wanna, a badge. We have a badge. Oh, I, I was trying to show us the badge then. Show us the badge. Let's see it. Oh, it's all. It's in what, why, is there, and I know, why is there a Pacific Swift on Ryan, there? I know Ryan's found more than 250. So you're perfectly eligible to buy a badge if you want, Ryan. Yeah, if so you've self-found we've got, more than... We're going to do two. UK 200. We're going to do UK 200 for the youth and do it bronze for like the little <laughs> youth. <laughs> like a blue Peter And then we're going to do... And we're going to do a gold... Like, and we're going to do a gold 300. Well, but then remember what Andy said on Birders Twitter on Sunday. He was like, it's a bit like smog. And like the bigger your self found list, the more up your own arse you are. Which was the worst thing he could have said when we've got 100 pin badges to flog. Oh, man. <laughs> you know mate. what I mean? Yeah. What, what, I, think what, really, I think, no, I think every person who's found over 250 is a bit smug. Yeah, well, that's what Andy said. It was absolutely devastating. So our stocks is on his shelf. Covered in dust. Covered in dust. Can you Johnny, see Ryan's face? This? Can you see Ryan's face on your screen? Does he look a bit smug? <laughs> oh my god! Oh Ryan god! Looks proper smug. Science. And I Science. know he's. I bet he's around three hundred. I bet he's around three hundred. How many on Ryan? Around three hundred. About three You don't talk to Andy Field because he's going to be derogating. I think three or one. Three or three or. I think, but three or one. Self-found. 
<laughs> you made him say it. You made him say it. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't I'm, say giving it. A, I'm giving you a computer You cuddle. accepted it, though. You didn't say no. Found. <laughs> I'm giving you a computer cuddle, Brian. Because <laughs> it's you all found them yourself. <laughs> Hugh Venables found a Caspian turn at Northstone Newtown. Well done, Hugh. Let's go on to... That's pretty the... good, man. That's pretty good. I used to run around there. Johnny, Johnny, there's five there. divisions of this. Johnny, Please shut Johnny, up. Johnny, give up. Five. This is never ending. Yeah. Matthew Sandling. Dix. Yeah, Sandling, Gareth Barkley. Uh, we've got Cuckoo for Glen Pla- uh, Pascoe at Freeland. I've had too much whiskey now. Um, and a hobby over his garden. Nothing in the fourth tier. And Simon f- Gillings is a bad lad. What's he doing? He's chilling. Well, getting chased up. Yeah. We, you know, we can't yeah, be chasing everybody. Yeah, I'll tell him to do better. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Livermere, 16 species. Where? Yeah, Six, Livermere. 16 species. <laughs> absolutely outrageous. <laughs> absolutely outrageous, man. I'm worst, a... <laughs> second worst patch in the south of England. Right, strike him off. Strike him off. <laughs> Absolutely outrageous. I've had Caspo yellow leg this year. I've had Caspo yellow leg. Well, I've had loads of shit down there. Oh, Terry. Right, knock him off. Just knock him off. That's insulting. <laughs> and that's just on like the occasional bike ride. Johnny Price, Bryn Pideu in North Wales, has got Smash 55 pieces and 56 points. Um, He might win. For one. Inland Wales, we've got Mark Hughes, Mark Hughes some bloke Mark called Hughes. Sean Sweeney, and uh, Terry Wells. I mean, Mark's walking away with this one. Everyone else is rubbish, aren't they? Yeah, but Mark's a bit of a, Yeah, I've met Mark. He's a bit. He's a, a proper bird, yeah. man. He's a legend. I, I hope he's listening. He's a bit. He's a, he's a bit of no bad. I don't really like him. <laughs> nah, it's, it's all right. I know. I Paul love well. him to pieces. Can't pieces. wait for Migfest. Can't <laughs> wait for the tension at Migfest. Now you've said that. <laughs> Brilliant. Violence. You're gonna get chinned. Violence. You're gonna get chinned by a Welsh rugby player. I love him to pieces. Mark Hughes is a There's great. There's no brother. way. There's somebody called Vincent Stork. He was nah, on our first nah. episode, Johnny. You can't say that nah, about he, Vincent. He's our boy. There's no way. And he, he's from the Netherlands and has a lot of he, storks. He's from he, in... absolutely not. Nah. Yeah, he's like... from Tessel. He and he has <laughs> 189 species. And he's part of Stork. He's in witness oh, yeah. protection, that. Witness protection. So, Vincent John, Bo- John Bowler's in second. Bruce is in third with some Marsh Warblers and Rose Finches and Golden Orioles. Oh, nice. Uh, Steve yeah, Dudley, man, who we had on recently. Dudley. Yeah, he Bruce has... Dory. I need Golden Oriole for Yorkshire. What? Yeah. You're not, what? You're not very good at burning in Yorkshire, dude. Jesus, I'm really, man. I'm really good at it. I'm in the top twenty, no, but I need gold now. I'll come and help you, dude. You I'll need to go to somewhere like Spurn, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, I should probably pop Jesus. down there at some point, shouldn't I? This I've so been awkward. at Spurn when they've been at the point. I've been at the point when they've been at the Warren. I've been everywhere in between. Yeah, is that, that's harder. my thing. Must try it's harder. It's quite hard to listen to this. Are you all yeah. right? Yeah, I mean that. They, no, pain there, it's a bit. No, I, no, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. <laughs> you might be okay. So Steve Dudley also had a peck sand which he found or self self found. SF. Self found over there. Yeah, yeah. But he was COVID stricken this month, so um, yeah, it didn't go quite so well for him. But, Get well uh, soon, Steve. Yeah, I hope you're feeling better now, Steve. Um, Scott Reed had some seabirds, whip, whip, including whip, whip. Um, Wilson's petrol. I don't think Scott's asking for any extra points, though, after finding a Wilson's petrol. Ryan. That's because they're, they're common. Like a robin? Like a robin <laughs> say, you, can't, you, can't, you can't have people on the sillies having extra points for Wilson's foul. It's like, it's like a song. Wilson's, Wilson's foul? I mean, I'd expect extra points for Wilson's foul. Uh, Wilson's Sorry, Wilson's petrol. Same yeah. but different, in it? Same but yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't get any points for Wilson's warbler because it's got the same name as Wilson's, Wilson's yeah, petrol. Yeah, just <laughs> lump them, lump them. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Right, um, into the islands, the big leagues, this. Uh, David Roche on Papa Westray has had blue whoa, throat, whoa, red back whoa. strike, peck sand. The first little stint since 2017, no, you're not getting extra points. And a patch tick hobby. Uh, Vincent oh, on Tesla. Really? I think that little stint should go to jury, me. I, that's a 
hard burn. Ban, he's got 274 I was points. Say, <laughs> I think that this is the best points per bird ratio I've seen. It's almost so two. far. That's <laughs> mental. Yeah. That's proper big. It's really, That's really like, good. Yeah, it's like 60 Sixty percent, is it? It's I don't know. It's a lot. It's definitely numbers, dude. It's got numbers in it. <laughs> That's like sixty percent. But I do, I, but I do think Lil Stint on Shetland is a rare, rare bird. Apple West Rays on Orkney. <laughs> you insensitive a... bastard! I'm a twat. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's two. That's two. Um, yes. Yeah, Ictorine Warbler and Marsh Warbler for John Bowler in his garden, which I believe Amy Rob John saw whilst John was absent. Um, oh, nice! Uh, nice! <laughs> I think John managed to get back there, though, for those. So, uh, Ed Bethridge. Yeah, don't ruin had the a... story. Don't ruin the story. No, Amy's I won't. Amy's got more ticks in John's garden than John has, boo! Definitely for that day. Um, Ed Betteridge, white throated sparrow, he's a sub out, and he also had a golden oriole, which is nice. Bruce Funny, Taylor, like oh, look who else has got a golden oriole! Well done, Bruce Taylor. He's got he's had two. Oh, yeah, uh, he found a oil, man, he found man, man. we've already discussed. I've, I've, seen, so. I've seen two of my patch this year as well. Mm, that's all right, Mark. Hype down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt and, Bruce. Um, Second He's division, cheating. islands, uh, not much going on because these people have given up. <laughs> oh, so, why have they given <laughs> up? Uh, Rob Van Bemmelen yeah. and the Netherlands 10K is killing it. He's got 206 species. Where's his patch? He has got patch, Netherlands. Right? He's got Ireland as well. His patch is Sockerbacker got... Egmond RNZ, obviously. Um, He's a Oh. You know, I'm a native speaker, obviously. Uh, he's found Rose Finch. But it does six. That's a lot of birds, isn't it? Um, Arnold Meyer. At so Catholic, why, are we, why is the Netherlands in? And like but, not other places? Because there's birders from the Netherlands that want to do it. What about Ireland? Are they in? If they want. Yeah. Some of them. Oh, God. Yeah, some of them. I, I, just don't I, understand, I really like, apologise. I really apologise. I just don't understand, like, geographically, why there's, like... Is the there Netherlands... any other countries in there? Well, there's a German guy. And I think there's a... Oh, you um, can't hold that against him. This is true. I don't, funnily enough. Um, no. The, so, Vincent Stork from the Netherlands asked us to take part. And then we worked together. We he produced a wonderful list of birds and points he keeps appealing against his own points which is fair enough um <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh yeah no we're really really glad to have these guys uh take part it's um really interesting to have different patches different stories and like this it looks like rose finch is probably a rare breeder in the netherlands but i absolutely have no idea so it seems like rob's had one um on his patch in a place where they've been in previous years. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got a, a full Netherlands, Belgium, Germany mini league with eight people. Jo- in uh, it. Johnny, they different places then. Each one of those is a different place. So, I, yeah. I don't think, I don't, I don't think you're really listening or understanding the conversation, Johnny. I'm helping dude. Speak, speak slower and speak louder, Johnny. That, that's, that's what you do, isn't it? No, no, it's fine. What, what, ben, what's, ca- happening, what's happening here is this is now a list of other places that aren't in Britain. Are you okay with that? D- dude, we had a guest on from Essex last week. And that was a bit outside your comfort zone, and I know that, and I know that. And, and we talked about it afterwards, and it was okay. But these are on the other side of the flappy water. Flappy Never water. heard of it. Never heard of it. I'm doing flappy water watching. I like that. You do a lot of that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Dude, uh, this is this is so much more hard work than what we do. Yeah, this is this hard is like work. This is actual series. Yeah, yeah. So I'm exhausted. <laughs> ben is top with 211 points. Well it, done, it, Ben. It is exhausted. It's really <laughs> it's tired. Exhausted. Right, we're into the big, the big numbers now, boys. 
We've got to do drum oh, rolls God. and everything. Is it, be, is it more? No, this is the top ten. This is just. I'm not drum rolling a guy I've seen eight times before. Who's Rob got Van Bemmelen in the 10K is top on 322 points. Uh, Vincent Stork is in second on 286. You might have noticed they're both in the Netherlands, which I know has blown Johnny Rankin's mind. Uh, Nigel Lount, who is not in the Netherlands. He doesn't know where it is. He doesn't know where it is. He doesn't know where the Netherlands is. It's Holland. Holland. Um, Nigel Stork at your point is on 184 species, 266 points. And these are some big scores for fake patches. Yeah, Jake Geerty is in there as well. There's something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Jake Geerty <laughs> in there. Yeah, he's Pop a stringy little. He's, he's 10 K overlaps with my patch. Except he finds good birds and I chill on patch. Mark, do you want to take over the patch goal? Because I think I'm... Uh, yeah, posted. this is yeah. the bit that I'm here for. These are the... like Obviously, we're all really excited about the rare birds and the big numbers and all the rest of it. But what patch burden is all about for me is... These little nuggets of patch gold, the common, the stuff that's common everywhere else, but it's rare on your patch. I get such a thrill out of seeing this sort of thing, and it's really nice to see when other people do as well. So thanks for tweeting these at us. Uh, Daniel Ledley had a tree creeper on his patch, which was a bit of patch gold. I mean, that's that's perfect patch gold. The hunt for yellow hammer goes oh, on. It looks quite yellow hammery there. So uh, yeah. good luck with that. Uh, long awaited for Morris Van Veen. Uh, Nuthatch, that would also be mega for me. There's like fewer than 10 records in the county up here for Nuthatch, so uh, I am totally on board with that being exciting. And of course, as always, there is a mention for Coot among the patch gold as well. Coot is the ultimate patch gold, yes. Even I've, if I've seen seen Merlin's it. identified it for you, yeah. Do you accept sl- knock me? No, is that a knock me record? Yeah, this is this looks like a knock me. I, I think, no, that's Merlin. Been... That's Merlin. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's just a no, 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 no. Look at look at the time. time look at the time. Eleven forty-one p.m. But he's out there with the, he, he'll be out there with his phone. Yeah, I, know, uh, I mean, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. That's fine. I mean, if we want to take one point off him, I can't imagine it's going to do that much damage. <laughs> but for the one <laughs> point you get for Coop, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, excellent stuff. Next one, James. What have we got next? More patch gold. Look at this. Grey plover. Absolutely smart. I bet you inland guys would be dripping at the sight of a grey plover, wouldn't oh, you? Oh, man. Like, I had two, I think I had two ever Pugley's records of grey plover, and I only saw one of them. <laughs> Just a <laughs> perfect inland Yorkshire. Yeah. Record just this one's in Shropshire, crazy. so proper inland as well. Really, yeah, yeah that's right. rough, yeah. man. The, that the one really I the stuff. one I didn't see, uh, I don't know how many pink footed geese went over, but it was a grey, claggy day in November, and pink feet were just going over all the time. Mm. We couldn't count them because we didn't, we couldn't see them, but I had. At least one, I think two grey plovers in with them. Well, well, not in it's with them. Pure filth. Pure filth. Yeah. Excellent. Nice. Excellent. Yeah. Nice. And good to see. Same same on the other side of the page as well for Juvenile Bird of Alston as well. Another grey plover. I, I absolutely love grey plovers. So I can understand people getting really, really excited what, about what that. What a bird. Mm. What a bird yeah. there. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. And then the, in the middle, a little, first little ring, little ring plover. For uh, for the cast birder, we got any more patch gold? I don't know. We'll find out. No, just more top tens. We got more leagues. I mean, even I'm bored of this. Yeah, (laughs) well, it's it's the it's the big top tens. I think there's three or three, two left, three left. Is it my turn? turn? Yeah, it's your turn, mate. So get stuck in. Let's go through quick. Yeah. Okay. Overall, I'm I'm not. I can't believe this because I've seen these names before here. Minimum, with it, minimum three times. Well, you, you do the lead. You do it, Johnny. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Right. So Rob Van Bemelen has kicked his tits to the moon with one nine eight species, <laughs> two nine nine points. That's an eight three hundred points. Vincent Stork. I'm not entertaining this because he's had his time on about thirteen other leagues, so he's chill out. Um, 
Nigel Lounge, Gibraltar, cheeky, 180, 254 points. My man, Dirty Gertie from number 30. I'm not having that. I'm not, I'm not having Jake. It. I'm not having Jake. I'm not having Jake in there. Oh, he's been kicking. He's been kicking it all over. He's, he needs to chill out, to be honest. Um, so I don't understand what this is. 10K. Yeah, we had these before. Oh, but they're the top 10K. This is so all of them won. put together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jake's won the 10K with the presenter's vote, and he found a Monty's. Temmingston stilts and a pallet. He did find a pallet, how are you? Do you want to hear a sad story? He was burdened with me on my Blyber patch, then left. I went home to have lunch with the girls and uh, he found that pallet, how are you? That is a sad story. But, that is a sad story, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but three miles I'm away. How is that a probably... sad story? He went home to have lunch with the girls. How many girls have you got? Yeah. Dude, Not this, is, this is a boys family show. Girls, Chill out. Please. Yeah, Shut I was, was going to say this is this is likely to be platonic. Look at him. Uh, <laughs> also, I should say I should say that you are all inspiration because we done for radio because of obvious reasons. But you're not afraid, and you actually like visually show yourselves. You know what well, I mean? That's you know, nice. That's why it's DDL nice. would have been nice perfect for people. us as well. Yeah. We're like DDL would have again, been. It's like being DDL would have been again. Yeah, DDL would have been OTT. Uh, James Brown, if he... Oh, he's, he's decided to not mention the fact that he found the spot. Oh, interesting. James Brown, we were there. Scott Reed <laughs> uh, did some stuff. Laughing Gull. Oh, that'd be nice, man. That was in the Lesser Blackback Gull colony, that Laughing Gull. On a goo, I think. Right. And then there's some other people, including number 10, Bruce Taylor who found the first um, American gold crest that I can't remember the name of. What they're oh, called? Ruby, Ruby Crown, Crown King. Kinglet. Yeah, man, he found the first Kinglet for UK in COVID. Next one, yeah. smashed it. Lovely. Keep going. Nice. <laughs> it's <laughs> the same, same names again. I'm not doing, I'm not doing, nah. nah Look who's first yeah, I mention. Look who's first. Just... I only like, of all these people, I only like Emmy Rob Johns, and she smashed it. In fifth place, oh, dirty Forsters and Black Turn smashed it. I don't like yep. any of the people. Next one, <laughs> overall top 10. We've got to give props here. You can't, you can't. Oh, no, this. there's some good stuff in there. There's some yeah, that's... rare birds in there. All right, let's focus. Focus. Hang on, James. I've got a big question there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Great snipe. How come, Great how come snipe. David Roach's? How come David Roach's? Uh... Scores 10k, 10k league, 10k league. He's, he's found fewer, he's seen fewer birds in 10k than he has in 50. no. This is the overall top top 10. <laughs> ah, yes. And the other one was the 10k. I think the other one was 10k league. I might be lying. I'm saying this to cover really, my backside. Really, really bothered I about really this. Hey, you guys are so bothered about this. Th this looks like the, the base scores. I just want to say that now. Oh no! Yeah, it does, bonus it? points. Oh made, no! Made no. There's, 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 no. there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a common the theme name. here. Someone's there's got a common to do theme the here last, on this one. The last slide is. of the whole presentation, <laughs> haven't they? Um, right. Burn. Just take a two-second pause Burn. while I import. Just make the, it up. Uh, make it up. Make it up, on. dude. <laughs> I mean, Jacob's yeah, top, Jacob's top on 299 points or something, yeah. and Rob Hunton's on 293. Tim Hodge is no longer in second. I think he's in fourth, in third. So I think he's oh, in fourth. Jim. I think David. Team. Yeah. So I'm really sorry, everybody. It is June. No one cares. We like we're an hour and a half deep in <laughs> hour well, and thirty six no, minutes no, we deep do into care. this podcast. We do care, James. We oh, do care. I care deeply. We do care. My we bed do know is calling that Spain me. Will always occupy the top couple of spots. Yes. Yes. Look, well, Vincent is disqualified for overuse. I, yeah. So he's off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we like Jacob. I think we like Rob Hunt and Tim Hodge, yeah. Okay, took five. We'll let I him like go. Rob the rest Hunt scrap, him. scrap him. Just scrap All him. All right. No, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, I did have a point. I've totally lost my point. It's gone. Who cares? It's not important. Let's just move on, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, all my beers in the other room, so the sooner I get to it, the better. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> 
I mean, I think we're supposed to be touching right. on inland birding, and this was supposed to be the theme of this month, but um, I think it got somewhat hijacked. But Mark, tell us about great inland finds. Well, you know, occasionally people who are burdened with inland patches turn up the goods. So <laughs> there's some lovely examples here from patchwork challenges of, of previous years. Hudsonian Godwit, which is just absolutely monstrous anywhere. That's an amazing it's gorgeous, find. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous photographs as well, that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's lovely, isn't it? It's really nice. Lovely, Pied lovely wheat here, an inland patch as well. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's another really, really belting find, it, actually. Yeah, that was a really good find. Yeah. That yeah, pied he's, wheat he's here chill out. Perfect. How was that runner-up? But is Nick the, Crouch is Nick Crouch <laughs> still in the in the bird watch in yeah. the patchwork challenge? Um, yes. I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have. We he's have not one. Left, not, he's not left Nottingham yet. But that what, 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 we do have that one inland find. Is the perfect inland find that's like almost that. Uh, that's oh, like. Who's that, that, this, who's that young God. bloke? Yeah, who's that young fella? God, Johnny, that guy's like a Move on. Look at the condition of the skin. Move on. Johnny, before you tell us about the Blaise Pippet, can you tell us how you've managed to age 20 years in 10 years? <laughs> it's been 20 oh, it's years. It's like when I sleep. It's been 20 years. Pro sleep. No, it's only been 10 years, hasn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, it was it, it were a lovely day. Thank you very much. Move on. <laughs> I mean, that is literally the best bird, inland bird, that's ever been found on Patchwork Challenge. Um, I didn't go no, and see no, it. No, because no, 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 no. Lance Degnan found one inland about 20 miles away 10 years before that. That was that was, that was that the ground that was the groundbreaking oh, bird. Yeah, I mean, Lance is a mental birder. He's found Orduins go on a um, flipping little bit of river oh, in the middle uh, of... Oh, that's he, he, must, the he must be he must be 300 on his um self-found list well he, i would have thought he's 300 on his self-found list um whilst he's uh pissed to be fair because yeah he's found some amazing birds did, did he find ah. did he find the first um cyber center as well was that like uh, well, not he the first the one, one, but he found the spurn one. Yes. No, sorry. Yeah, the, yeah, the spurn. Oh, yeah, one. That, yeah, yeah. Spurn that one. dude's a legend, man. Love that dude. Yeah. So that's that's. Uh, just, awesome. I see him yeah, on the yeah, birthday. Yeah, he's like a rare bird magnet, and there are some of those folk that are just. I don't know. They're built that way. Built I don't know. Yeah. And but, I've, I, I've. But talking I've, a bit you know, different, say, Johnny, you found a blies blies pipit called the wetlands which is basically pugmies the other side of the road to pugmies isn't it tell us about it man we we need a bit of a well, rundown the bigger your list the more you get kissed you bother man oh wow well, um <laughs> I, 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 walking down a drain at the side of a flooded field next to a car showroom mm -hmm. <laughs> Make it sound <laughs> sexy. I can't, I can't. I can't cope with the giggling <laughs> in the background. I can't cope with it. And <laughs> and um, um someone got out of the ditch. I was looking for. A, I was looking for a, a side chief. That's yeah. You know, kind of what 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 my goal was. I I tend to go birding with a um a target of some sort, roughly. You know, depending what habitat I'm in, uh, I, I tend to have a a target. Um, so I was looking at looking for side chief because I've had wintering side chiefs in there before, um, and kicked a pipit out. Well, kicked a bird out, and it called and went into a tree at the end of the drain and without being big headed, I kinda knew what it, I kinda knew what it was. No, that's I, Johnny. Well, well no, I've been, it's well, not I've been to though, India. I'd been to India like two years before and seen loads of them. 
and I knew what it looked like, and I knew what it sounded like, and I was like, well, those two things only add up to one thing. But I kicked it three times before I even picked my phone out of my pocket because it's, not, it. it's, Cause it's a blind pip it at Pugneys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I know yeah. that's amazing, man. I mean, yeah. for, for Yorkshire and for there were so many happy people to see that bird outside of Patchwork Challenge. It was such a huge bird for Yorkshire. And yeah, it was the it... first for Yorkshire, but I'm not sure. I'm not no, sure. No, it no, is. no. I, I'm, no, I know. And a lot of people have talked about that sort of thing. But it's a great find in such a sort of random location. It was a pretty cold winter. I remember there being snow on the deck. Yeah. And I didn't actually go to see it because there was snow down. And I went yeah. right and I went to Patch instead of going to see it. Yeah. I slightly regret that. Um. <laughs> I think I, th- I think educationally it was just a great bird to see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a regardless fact, of finding it. I think just educationally because it called all the time, mm. and uh, and just seeing it, you know, it, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like any of the confusion species actually. No. And I think it, it was. I think there was one before, but I think that was like the m- kind of muff bister. Of it, of it, it, you it, just it, say muff. You can't say muff on the call, dude. You can muff, say muff. Muff, can say muff. Bis, muff buster. Well, you can't say it just kind of changed your perception of how you envisage encountering those species. Because I, it sounds really blase, but. I knew what it was. As as soon as it called, I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> I know what. Got to I deal with a thousand that... people on my patch now. Yeah, I know what that's going to be. <laughs> well, that that wasn't my first thought. My first thought was, "Fucking hell, I need somebody else to see it, so mm. that'll be okay." Mm. But then immediately, all right, the first afternoon, all the Yorkshire listeners turned up. It was like sixty-seven, and, and we booted it. A long way. It it, it went to a different. What, you like field. Premier Football did, like boom. <laughs> <laughs> no, but 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 we moved it a couple of times, and it went to a different place. And I thought, oh shit, that's that. Well, that's that. It's gonna disappear. But it went back to where it liked, and it, there were loads of crap about. Uh, should we? Should we be moving it? Should we be? And, and what are the what, what are the opportunities? And there were a massive raised bank round. For those of you who were there, you'll know. But there was a massive raised bank round the field, and mostly you could either leave it for an hour or two, and then I'm not going to deny that people went in now and again and shifted it about in a good way. <laughs> I think right, have we got any more not, have yeah got let's, any more? let's not linger on this this element of it anymore but I have we got any like, more mini leagues no we've got no more mini leagues but we do have predictions yeah. it's Before not the we, rarest bird I ever found at Pugnies are no it? I know what the rarest bird you found at Pugnies is so if you could uh, tell us now that we're into let's waffle a little bit oh, right, um, what's the rarest bird you found at Pugnies oh come on Mark keep up some sort of duff, buffled. probably. Buffled. Yeah, but that doesn't count because it's cage jammer. What about Thayer's goal then? Mark, I will come up to oh, Aberdeen and I will punch you in the chops. <laughs> 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 the only reason we're friends is because he found a buffle head. <laughs> Before that, you know, I thought nothing of him. I was like, you mean nothing to me. And then when he found that, I was like, no, nah, we can be friends. So is is that is that bufflehead on on a par with your Pacific Swift, Johnny? Better, better. Because it's a duck. Oh fuck off! When you've been bird, <laughs> when you've been bird, oh, I, like, I, I hope you've clipped that. I hope you've clipped that. We can definitely do you, that. When you've been birding a while, like I have, you get over the warblers and the waders, and you realise, like me and Mark Golly, we know that like ducks are the best ones. But it just you takes time. Buff- you'll get there. You'll get there, man. Just, just time. You realise that buffled is now rarer than Pacific Swift as well, don't you? 
Yes. Oh, it's dirty, man. Dirty. Do you remember when I found a canvas bag that wasn't a canvas bag? That hurts. Well, I remember when I found a Don't Blackbird and Warbler that wasn't a Blackbird and Warbler. So, la- lads, it. lads, what's going to turn up on on an inland patch in August? Oh, right. Oh, Pratt is this my... Pratt and Coles. Pratt Shall and I go first? Shall I go first? You can go first. You might have uh, it. Right. Well, we've already done this. I, no, Redback Shrike. I'm, I'm going to find a Redback Shrike. Inland. But on someone I'm else's patch, what's what's the best bird that's going to turn up on someone else's patch this month? On somebody else's? Meant... On somebody else's inland patch in August. What's the? It's going to be an best? odd extra elemental raptor. It's going to be like a really f- bizarre, like something dirty, like a sooty falcon or a vulture species is going to blow everyone's mind. Well, it's, it's not going to be that. It's not going to be that. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? It's, it's an oh, inland. Like it's an inland patch in August. It's going to be yeah, a. She's going to go mad. Uh, it's going to be Elliot a. Black wing kite. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to be a. It's going to be a summer plumaged grey fowl. Summer plumaged grey fowl. Retarded. On my list. Oh, I've got the answer. I've got the answer. Aquatic <laughs> warbler. Somebody's going to have a scrotty little, a dirty, squatty little reed bed. And they're going to be like, oh, I've just photographed this sedge warbler. And everyone's going to be like, Christ, son, you've got an aquatic warbler. Boom, finished. Look, look at my juvenile sedge warblers, please. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's going to be, aquatic warbler, which is hen's teeth job nowadays, isn't it? Oh, Who's got aquatic good, warbler good, on yeah. the list? Not right, I have aquatic cause... warbler on your patch list yet. Me? No. Brian, yeah. I've, I haven't been here in August yet. So. Oh. You, you, any, well placed any for second, one. You, well placed for one. Uh, but I think they are. I mean, what's, going, what's going on with uh, Aquatic Wobbler? Oh, they're just hen's teeth now, aren't they? Really? Proper rarity, yeah. Proper real deal. Everyone used to go down um, that placing near Penzance and be like, oh, I've seen an aquatic warbler, but they might not have. Marazine yeah. Marsh, Marazine yes. Marsh, yeah. But yeah, I, yeah saw used to be like, in, I, I saw one in Northamptonshire. Are they back on the BB list yet? Yes. Yeah, yes. so, yes. yeah okay. Yeah. Are you going to find one, Ryan? Yep. Have you got Have you got the Habbo? No. So I'm not. No, no, no. <laughs> That's going to be a problem. Yeah, that's that's the only problem. But I'll work I mean, my way around on, that. On your ten k list, though. Ten k list? What's that? So you, you fake pack. Have you got yourself found list? I don't know. I don't have one. <laughs> Set up a mist net. Have you got a found list? Nearest have you got a yeah, found that's, list? Ryan. That's your best bet, Ryan. Set up a mist net. That's how everyone finds stuff down there, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Right. I feel like we are perhaps winding down. We've got black screen, so I will stop sharing. Completed it, dude. Completed it. <laughs> Completed it. It's the longest one yet. It's it's 20 minutes longer oh, than we've not. ever gone before. It, it was, it it was predicted. That's the kind of quality we can offer, dude. Right. What's, you know what I mean? Let's, let's have a two-second pause. And what slander would you like to do now on everybody? Because we can edit this out. <laughs> It was great. What, what do you mean? Give me some ins- give me some inspiration, dude. DDL stop sending dick pics for starters. <laughs> um yeah, that's that'll just to begin edited. with. That'll get edited out. Um, I, so. no, that's I mean, how many dick pics do you need? It's just the same dick pic. Um a lot of female birders DM me more than you'd think. <laughs> that's not true. And like the door, I'm the basically door, a part of the the dirt. Partially shaved orangutan, and uh, the girls love it. It's mental. Um, what else is there? Um, can can you chop really. him out now? Can you chop him out? <laughs> uh, that's it. I finished. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't name anyone, and that's fine. So that's all going in. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Definitely meant what? some DDL. Yeah. Well, but it's true. If it's true, it's fine. We've just got to know what's in their WhatsApp group, haven't we? It's just science. Yeah, man. we're not we're not sharing that. 
No, no, that's good. <laughs> it's just it's just loads of pictures of this. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, is that I any chat at all, or is it just pics? No, um, no, Danielle not, just talked about lots just, of videos. But, but lots of videos. He does. He does prefer to do a video without his shirt on. Doesn't he? Sure, sure. Yeah, he does. He does. Um, uh, and sometimes he's just in his pants. And you know what, a James, lot of the time. And you wonder why, <laughs> James? Because Danielle like, yeah. couldn't make it this time round. Next time we do this next month, we'll do it topless. All right, all three. Yeah, of us. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm I'm game for that. Oh, well, actually, that. We'll I know you have I know you haven't no set a date, so, yeah, 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 but yeah, I'm yeah, busy that, that day. I'm busy that day. <laughs> well, DDL's joining us next month to roast you guys. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> right, James. Should we? You seem to be. You seem to be driving this one. So should we wind it up? No. Oh God, yes. I mean, it doesn't <laughs> matter. We don't have to say anything in particular because ain't nobody got this far. No. No, no, I'm going to hit the stop record far. button, Mark. Is nobody's that okay? Nobody's listening this far. Please do. I, I, I literally, 